Is intermittent fasting just another diet trend or is there real science behind it? The answer isn't as simple as you think. Let's break down the facts, benefits, and potential risks. Before we dive in, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more honest health insights. Now, here's what you really need to know about intermittent fasting. 1. What is intermittent fasting and why is it so popular? Intermittent fasting isn't a diet it's a timing strategy. Rather than focusing on what you eat, it's about when you eat. The most popular methods include the 16-8 to schedule, the 5-2 to method, and alternate day fasting. The appeal lies in its simplicity, no calorie counting, no banned foods. It promises weight loss, better focus, and improved metabolism, all without requiring strict rules. Intermittent fasting has gained a cult-like following online, with influencers and health experts swearing by its benefits. But is it really that effective, or is it just another trend wrapped in pseudoscience? To answer that, we need to look beyond marketing hype and dive into what the research and real-world results actually say. 2. The science behind how fasting affects the body When you fast, your body enters a metabolic state known as ketosis, where it begins burning fat for fuel after glucose runs low. Insulin levels drop, allowing fat stores to be accessed more easily. Growth hormone levels rise, which may support muscle preservation and fat metabolism. Cellular repair processes, such as autophagy, also kick in essentially cleaning up damaged cells. These effects sound great, and they are supported by studies, particularly in rodents and small-scale human trials. But many of these benefits also occur with calorie restriction in general, meaning fasting isn't the only way to achieve them. 3. Weight loss claims. Is it magic or just math? Most people try intermittent fasting for one reason weight loss. And it does work for many. But the truth is, intermittent fasting helps you lose weight primarily by reducing your eating window. Which naturally limits how much food you consume. It's not a magical fat-burning window if you eat 3,000 calories during your 8-hour window, you'll still gain weight. Multiple studies have shown that intermittent fasting results in weight loss comparable to traditional calorie-restricted diets. The key is sustainability. Intermittent fasting may help some people naturally reduce calories without obsessing over every bite. Intermittent fasting may help some people naturally reduce calories without obsessing over every bite. 4. Is intermittent fasting safe for everyone? Fasting isn't one size fits all. For healthy adults, especially those with a bit of weight to lose, it can be perfectly safe. But for others, especially women, people with diabetes, eating disorders, or hormonal imbalances, fasting can have unintended consequences. Some women report disrupted menstrual cycles, fatigue, or mood swings while fasting, likely due to hormone sensitivity. Others experience dizziness, headaches, or low energy, especially during the adjustment period. It's also not recommended for children, pregnant or breastfeeding women, or those taking certain medications. 5. Mental clarity or just hunger distraction. One of the most hyped benefits of intermittent fasting is mental clarity. Many claim they can think more clearly and focus better when fasting. There's some science to support this when you're in a fasted state, ketones fuel the brain, which may enhance cognitive performance. Additionally, Lower insulin levels and fewer blood sugar crashes can stabilize energy. However, not everyone experiences this effect. Some people feel lightheaded, irritable, or anxious, especially in the early days. Your mental clarity might improve once your body adapts, but early on, it can feel like a struggle. 6. Does intermittent fasting improve longevity? Here's the truth. Animal studies have shown that calorie restriction and fasting can extend lifespan and reduce age-related diseases. This is where much of the fasting excitement began. However, human research is still limited and mostly observational. It's hard to say if fasting itself makes people live longer, or if the benefits come from generally healthier habits. That said, fasting does reduce markers of inflammation, oxidative stress, and insulin resistance factors linked to aging and chronic illness. So while we can't say intermittent fasting is the fountain of youth, it may help support longevity when combined with good sleep, exercise, and a nutritious diet. 7. 
Hidden pitfalls people don't talk about intermittent fasting has a sleek image on social media, but the challenges are real. Skipping meals can lead to increased cravings, mood swings, social limitations, and disordered eating patterns for some. Many people end up using intermittent fasting as an excuse to overeat during their feeding window, leading to no results or even weight gain. Others may fixate on the clock and feel guilty if they eat too early, creating a toxic relationship with food. Some people also cut corners, loading up on processed foods during their eating window under the illusion that timing will fix everything. Intermittent fasting doesn't give you a free pass to eat whatever you want it works best when combined with mindful eating, whole foods, and balance. 8. Intermittent fasting versus traditional diets. Which is better? Comparing intermittent fasting to traditional calorie restriction or macro tracking depends on your lifestyle and preferences. Some people thrive on structure and meal plans, others prefer the flexibility of time-based eating. Studies have shown that both methods are equally effective for weight loss when calories are controlled. However, intermittent fasting may feel easier for those who hate constant meal prep or counting macros. The downside? It can be harder to get adequate nutrients, especially protein and fiber, when you're eating fewer meals. The best diet isn't the most popular or trendiest one it's the one you can stick to consistently without hating your life. 9. What about muscle loss during fasting? Many people worry about losing muscle during intermittent fasting, especially if they skip breakfast or don't eat enough protein. The good news is that short-term fasting isn't likely to cause significant muscle loss, especially if you're still resistance training and getting enough protein during your eating window. In fact, fasting may preserve lean muscle by increasing growth hormone and enhancing insulin sensitivity. However, extended fasts or poor nutrition can lead to muscle breakdown over time. If you're active or trying to build muscle, prioritize protein, train with weights, and consider breaking your fast around your workouts. Fasting isn't a substitute for training or eating enough it's a rhythm, not a replacement. 10. Final verdict. Scam or smart strategy. So, is intermittent fasting a scam? No but it's also not the magical fix it's often made out to be. It's a scientifically supported approach that helps some people control hunger, lose weight, and feel more in tune with their bodies. But it's not for everyone, and it only works when combined with smart nutrition and lifestyle habits. Like any tool, it depends on how you use it. If fasting helps simplify your routine and makes healthy eating easier, it's worth trying. But if it causes stress, disordered eating, or social disruption, it may not be the right fit. In the end, sustainable health isn't about restriction it's about finding what fuels your best energy, mood, and mindset long term. Intermittent fasting isn't a scam but it's not a magic fix either. What's your take after hearing the facts? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if this helped clear up the hype, make sure to like and subscribe for more science-based health tips, nutrition breakdowns, and realistic wellness advice. More truth coming your way soon.